Uh, we're here up in the Genelec room to look at a new three-way uh, speaker, and Will here will talk us through it. It's a, it looks like a Genelec, and yet it's quite different. Well, apparently with a single driver in the front, but I know it's not. Well, no, actually, yeah, it does look like a Genelec because it has to take on the same profile as the rest of the 8000 series. Mm -hmm. And that was actually the big challenge because when we introduced the 8260, um, a lot of people were really looking for something in a more compact package. Okay. And, you know, trying to squeeze 10 pounds of technology into a 42-pound bag could be kind of tough. Yeah. So the, the, the focus point is obviously what you see here. This is the coax mid-range mid tweeter. Mm -hmm. And that, once again, was um, invented for the 8260. Right. But in order to get it into a smaller package, and to be able to have a large waveguide in order to make the dispersion pattern as controlled as possible, yes. yeah. we really needed to put our thinking caps on as to what we were going to do with the woofers. Where are yes. they going to be? Because sure. if we put a couple of sixes down here, mm -hmm. they would have grown up like this, and yeah. it probably would have been kind of boxy looking, and it wouldn't have been right. Yeah. It wouldn't have had that look that we really want to maintain. Sure. So where have you hidden them? Well, they're actually, there's a couple of racetrack woofers right down in here and we, they're oval shaped mm -hmm. um, there's one down here uh, up here rather and there's one down here right and the sound actually emanates from this slot right oh here. right okay so it's the driver mounts this way it fires this way mm. none of it seeps down into the enclosure down here because the mounting ends right here right okay so it's really no different than a more traditional speaker yeah. where you know the backside of the woofer empties into the enclosure and there's a port on the backside as well. Okay. So really the mystery is revealed um, yes. simply when you understand that the woofers are here and here. Right. And the biggest goal, the biggest win, is that we have very, very strong directivity. Sure. Especially in the vertical orientation. Because the whole baffle is now a, a waveguide in effect. Yes, including the woofers as well. Yeah. So we get very strong directivity down to about 350 hertz. Okay. Which is something unheard of in a product like this. You would have to go to a product typically three times the size sure. to get yeah. something like of course. that. So we're very, very excited about this. It's mm -hmm. been a long time coming. And uh, we're very proud to have it here at the Brilliant. show. So what's the model name? 8351. 8351. So the 5 indicates that it is of the same size as the 8050 yes. or the 8250. Yeah. It's a fully DSP product. Mm -hmm. It's part of the SAM systems. Yes. Um, so it has all the same connectivity that, that okay. we have in all of those products as well. And uh, when will it be shipping? I, I'm not in charge of that. But I, <laughs> my guess is that it's going to probably be near the end of the year. Okay. And any idea on price? We know what the U.S. price is. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be $4,995 per unit. Brilliant. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.